Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're on the boardwalk here in Atlantic City. Let's go take a walk see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Real Ale Brewing and they are out of uh, Texas, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Blanco, Texas. This was sent to me by uh, Brandon. Brandon sent this to me. Uh, he is down in Texas and gets a lot of great beers that are brewed and produced in Texas that I cannot get here in Virginia. So thanks uh, to Brandon for sending me uh, this beer and all the real ale beers and all the wonderful beers that he sends me. Uh, they do produce some really tasty stuff in Texas. Uh, guys uh, that are down there in Texas or, or the surrounding states that these beers are distributed to, pretty damn lucky. Uh, they do some tasty stuff. This is their Sisyphus. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. S-I-S-Y-P-H-U-S, -S -S, Sisyphus, and it is a barley wine, and uh, I could not find the ABV on the label anywhere, and according to Great Beer and Beer Advocate, both say this is an 11 and a half percenter, big beer, a, a nice sipper for a barley wine, and most of your barley wines are pretty good size. Uh, there are some uh, entry level barley wines that are not quite this big, but most of your barley wines, big malt bill, a lot of hops to balance that out, uh, especially when you get to the 11.5% versions like this is. So, uh, and it does have a date on the back label. Uh, this was bottled on March the 12th of 2015, and we're, this is July the 27th of 2016. So this has been in the bottle well over a year. March, April, May, June, July, 12, 16 months. So uh, hopefully this has mellowed out and aged very well. Brandon, once again, thank you, sir, for the wonderful beers you do send me. I do appreciate it, my brother. Uh, the beers from Real Ale that he has sent me have all been pretty tasty. So these guys are doing some fantastic stuff down there in Texas. So if you can get Real Ale beers in your area, uh, you ought to give them a try and uh, see what you think of them. They do some tasty stuff. And this does have the data on the bottom of it. Plus it's got 2015 vintage on this upper neck label up here. So uh, it's in two places. It's got the vintage on the upper neck label and the bottled on date, month, day, and year on the bottom of the uh, rear label. Excellent. Thumbs up. That's the way it should be done, guys. So there's no question of what you're having. The only bus I've got about this that I can't find the ABV on it anywhere. Uh, I do not see it, guys. I do not see the ABV written on here. Would like to see them do that. So if you're actually in a brew pub or a bar having this beer, you know what you're drinking. A lot of times they'll chalk it in somewhere on a board and tell you the ABV or their percentage of the alcohol in this beer. Some of them do, some of them don't. So drink this one at home uh, like I'm doing. Uh, or have somebody drive you home if you're drinking this out away from your house. So, uh, Another big beer. I did a big beer yesterday. We're going to do another big one today. So hopefully I won't be too shit-faced when I come back and uh, do the final chug on this one. Uh, I do like a nice barley wine. And, and a lot of people say, ah, I don't drink stouts or barley wines or this, that, and the other in the summertime when it's hot and stuff. It doesn't matter to me, guys. Uh, I like those beers year-round. 
And if I'm sitting out on a porch and it's 95 or 100 degrees, I'd probably agree. Or if you don't have air conditioning in your house and it's 95 degrees in your house, you probably don't want a Bobby Wine or an Imperial Stout or anything like that. But I have uh, air here and it's about 77 degrees in here, so I can enjoy a nice barley wine or an imperial salad. So let's get on with this one. I don't want it to be a massively long video. I don't have the IBUs that's on this beer on either side. Commercial trip says measuring between 10 and 11 percent ABV, depending on the year. This barley wine was Real Ale's first seasonal product. It is uncharacteristically smooth for the style of beer, as it's created with five different kinds of hops. <clears throat> It also displays a rich malt character and the healthy proportion of hops give it a distinctive dry and balanced finish. Sisyphus Barley Wine Style Ale, weighing in around 480 calories per 12 ounce serving, is not for the faint of heart, makes a great nightcap. A good beer for the final beer of the evening, uh, if you so choose. Or to share, it's only a 12 ounce bottle, but you can share this at 11.5%. And that's what I'll I end up doing here. I'll pour this glass and she'll have two or three sips out of it and I'll have the rest. So, With that being said, let's go over to the food pairings for barley wine. Cheese is a sharp blue cheddar and your stronger cheeses. And it says here general di di dessert or digestive, which means you can have this beer after your dinner if you so choose as your dessert or a, di a digestive there. So, <coughs> Glassware. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat, ribbit. And uh, glass bars, pint, glass, becker, nonic, tumbler, snifter, mug. Uh, I got my favorite snifter today and can be sold for long periods under the proper conditions. 11, 11 and a half percent. It doesn't have it on the label here. I wish it, wish it did. They need to put that kind of stuff on the label. Uh, a lot of these breweries like to reuse these labels year after year, even though the alcohol changes and they have to go through label approvals. but. That's part of it, guys. And everybody says, oh, you got to jump through hoops, you got to do this, you got to do that. Horse freaking hockey. If you're in the craft beer business and you're not producing the same ABV beer year after year, it needs a different label. That's the way I feel. Sorry. Tough shit. Let's go down the center. We're going to produce a little bit ahead if we can. All right, about a half a finger of head on that aggressive pour on the back end. Kind of cloudy beer, unfiltered, unpasteurized, is what it says on the label. Which means we're going to get a lot of that juicy stuff that's filtered out of the beers on a lot of the breweries. Uh, when they uh, produce a beer, they all filter it, and a lot of that good juicy stuff is filtered out. And you have a nice, clear, perfectly clear beer and all that, and all the taste is left in the filter. So I like to... I like to have these uh, unfiltered beers. Uh, I didn't used to be that way, uh, and uh, over time I've got, I figured out, leave all that stuff in there. Yeah, we want to taste all that good, juicy, tropical fruit notes and dark fruits and all that kind of stuff comes with it. And as you can see, as I've been flapping my gums, uh, the head is basically just now just covering the, uh, the top of the beer over to the light. It is a rich amber color. Very cloudy, a little bit more light through the bottom part of the thin part of the glass here. But up in here, it's very cloudy, nice amber color. Let's get a nose on it. Ooh, big, big, big barley wine. Big, sweet caramel toppy notes. Rich, rich malt on this. Maybe some slight hints of dark fruit. Uh, I'm sure those are going to come out more as it warms up to room temperature. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. So let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon. Oh, it smells good. Oh, that's very nice. Very, very nice. These guys are really all do some really tasty stuff. You guys around uh, uh, Texas that can get these beers, you need to pick up, you need to support these guys. They are doing it right. Would like to see the uh, ABV and IBUs on the label, but they got the date, the vintage on the neck, and the bottled on date on the rear of the label. Very well done, very nicely done. Head brewer there knows what he's doing. 
That smells awesome. Very sweet. Alcohol is fairly well hidden for 11 and a half percent if that's what this is. Sweet caramel, sweet toffee. Just ever so slight hint of the ABV on this. For a beer as fresh as this is, which is 2015, <laughs> uh, like I said, uh, a little over a year old, about 16 months old. A great cannabis seller if you wanted to do that. Because you could save this beer for 15, 20 years if you wanted to. Very nice. Very, well done. Very awesome lacing that's leaving on the glass. Not super boozy for 11.5%. Very nice. 40 degrees right out of the fridge. So let's let it warm up. Let her have a taste two or three. And uh, go out on the deck and uh, finish a stogie that I was smoking. Uh, I think it was a punch bare knuckle on this. Not too deep. Not a Maduro wrapped. Uh, I kind of try to save those for the darker porters and stouts instead of uh, something like this. So I'm sure it'll pair very well. Well, so let me step on for a little bit and we'll be right back. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Been sitting on about 30 minutes or so. Very nice barley wine. Would like to see them put a little more information on the label, like I said earlier, uh, what the ABV is and what the IBUs are. But they do have the date on the back. I've got the vintage on the upper neck label of 2015. and got the bottle on date on the rear of the label. Written in white on the green label. Very easy to see. Uh, thumbs up to those guys for doing that. But And I understand, like I said earlier, I understand they like to reuse their labels and and not put the ABV and the IBUs on it because the recipe changes from year to year. But still, as beer buyers craft beer buyers and, and drinkers, we want to see that information. So, uh, uh, even on the bottle, on date, on the back, they could, they could, they could print that too if they wanted to. The IBUs of this. Not that critical on this bottle of beer, but the ABV. Uh, bottle on date is this, the ABV is this, for this particular version. So they don't have to change the front label or anything like that. But they've changed but they've got the 2015 on here, so they, they can't use that for the 2016 edition or the 2014 edition. They changed the upper label. So give us a little bit more information here, guys. That's, that's all I'm asking. Uh, I would like to see the ABV, the IBUs, and the bottled on date. Uh, so we've got, we've got one out of three on this one. So Very nice. Very easy drinking body wine for 11.5%. I call it very well hidden, and there's slight hints of it. I mean, this beer would be a great counter to the seller if he wanted to do that. And somebody that used to drinking macro lagers, Budweiser, and that, they're going to go, oh my God, that's so boozy. I mean, if you're not used to drinking this massive of a beer, it is going to seem really boozy. But somebody that drinks double IPAs and Imperial Stouts and Imperial Porters and barley wines that are 11, 12, 15%. Doesn't seem to be that boozy to me. But I can, I still smell it though. I can smell it. Great can to seller, guys. I mean, this, this is a good beer. Uh, even though this has been in the bottle 16 months, uh, we could sell this beer for a long time. 5, 10, 15, even 20 years on this kind of beer. So, let's do the final chug. Delicious. Very tasty. Caramel. Sweet caramel. Toppy. Hints of dark fruit. Plums, dates, raisins, figs. Very sweet on the back end. A little bit of booziness with, with the beer only 16 months old. Well, keep this in the fridge or sell this for 15, 10 or 15 years or even longer if you so choose. And I got a feeling that booziness will go away just a little bit and it'll get a little more complex over time and be a, a little more suitable for your palate 
uh, with that much age on the beer. So, very tasty, very, very nice, very nice example of an unfiltered, unpasteurized version of a uh, of a barley wine. So, very nice. I enjoy what just Brandon. Thanks again, my friend, for sending this one to me. Real ale brewing down in Texas does some really tasty stuff. So, for me, guys. Uh, even though it has a bottle on date and has a vintage on the label, I would like to see them put the ABV somewhere on it and the IBUs. Uh, I'm on the fence between an 8 and a 9. I'm going to give it to 8. I'm going to give it to 8 on this one. I do think it's an A beer. I think it's a very well made beer. Slightly boozy. Even though, I mean, at 2014 if I had drank this fresh, I would, I would probably even give it to seven. It would have probably been a little more boozier than what it is now, uh, having 16 months in the bottle. But it's a barley wine. It's supposed to be a big, bold representation of that style. So uh, if you say, oh, no, you're crazy. It's a nine. It's a ten. I won't argue with that. I won't argue with that. It's a very well-made beer. And they did put the bottle on day. They got the vintage on the upper neck. So thumbs up to those guys for doing that. I do appreciate it. Just want just a little bit of more information on it. Uh, numeric rating on this one, guys. I would probably give this a 92, maybe even a 93, since it's got the date and the vintage on the neck. So, over to Beer Advocate, they say 88 in a very good range. I think it's a little bit better than, than an 88. I think it's into the 8 category. I really do. It's pretty tasty. The only way this could be better is put it in a bourbon barrel for a little while. So, and then it let it cellar for a little bit longer. Because every time you put it in a bourbon barrel, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to soak up some of those uh, bourbon notes and probably get just a little bit bigger ABV than what it is, just straight, uh, like it is now. So. Over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says 93 overall, 69 in style. So we got an 88, we got a 91, 92 for me, and a 93 from Rate Beer. Uh, that's a B plus from uh, from Beer Advocate, and it's an A from me. Bottom of the A score, and a bottom of the A score from Rank Beer. So well, it's pretty tasty. It, it is pretty impressive. So uh, I would buy this beer if I could get it here. I would, and I would sell it for a little longer than 16 months. I would sell this beer for three to five years at the at the minimum, and maybe just a little bit longer. Uh, uh, so uh, like I said, 10 years on this bottle would probably be really really good so if you've had this one from real ale this is our sisyphus barley wine uh, let me know what you think i thought it was pretty damn tasty thanks again brandon i do appreciate it my friend uh, and if you've had it let me know what you think guys come on back tomorrow let's take something tasty out the bridge see you then